Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Lang. I'm a board certified optometric physician as well as a certified nutritional specialist. I'm also a host of a syndicated talk show called Ask the Doctor that can be heard worldwide. Anyway, today we're going to talk about something called keratoconjunctivitis sicca or dry eye syndrome. Most of you that are watching this video right now at some time in your life have been plagued with dry eyes. Eyes that feel sandy, gritty, burn, tear, itch, fluctuation in vision, recurring infections, and everything seems to compound the dry eye issue. Working on the computer, driving, watching television, taking any type of medication, simply getting older, LASIK surgery, contact lenses, all of these things seem to compound the problem. Well, is there hope for dry eyes? Absolutely, there is. Now certainly the traditional uh, medical means of treatment uh, using a good unpreserved artificial tear like Oasis Tears Plus, that's my favorite, proper lid hygiene, scrubbing your eyelashes back and forth with a good uh, antimicrobial product like OcuSoft Lid Scrub Foam once or twice a day to eliminate the bacterial flora along your eyelashes that is actually clogging your meibomian glands. These glands secrete the outer crucial lipid layer of your tear film. Certain medications can be prescribed, believe it or not, topical antibiotics, oral antibiotics, uh, anti-inflammatory, steroid drops, uh, certain prescriptions for dry eye can be prescribed that may help minimize a lot of the symptomology and help your dry eye condition. Using little plugs in your punctums, those are little drainage ducts, uh, putting a silicone plug in there to actually uh, keep the water reservoir or the tears that you're producing on your cornea may also help. But a lot of doctors are missing the boat. A lot of optometrists and ophthalmologists are not discussing one of the most crucial factors out there, and that's proper nutrition. So many patients come into my clinics in Florida, see me, and they've been taking a whole host of medications for their dry eyes. And these dry eye products have helped eliminate some of their symptoms, but none of them have been really cured, so to speak. But when we adjust their diet, it can help dramatically. So believe me, first and foremost is our diets need to be overhauled. The typical American diet or the Western diet is pro-inflammatory and therefore uh, inflammation is one of the root causes for dry eyes. If we can combat against the inflammation in the body and help quell some of this inflammation, our dry eyes are going to improve. Trust me. Our diet is typically calorie dense and nutrient deficient. Our diets are very high in omega-6, low in omega-3, high in saturated fats, high in trans fats way too much overly processed and refined foods, way too much salt, sugar, fast foods in our diet. All of this is pro-inflammatory, creating inflammation in our body. All of the itises uh, that patients have, not only in their eye, but in their entire body. So adjusting the diet is key and foremost, not only for overall health, but good ocular health, especially helping to minimize these dry eye problems that many patients do have. So we need to eat a diet consistent with uh, what man should be eating, a hunter-gatherer type of diet, a Mediterranean diet, a paleo type of diet, eating a lot more fresh organically grown fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, good sources of protein like wild Alaskan salmon and sardines that are high in omega-3, grass-fed beef, beef that is much higher in omega-3 than a corn-fed type of beef, uh, even a little turkey, a little soy and chicken, all of that is very good. So adjusting our diet is crucial. Taking a good one-a-day multivitamin also to make sure you're not nutritionally compromised. I created a formula called Fortify Complete One-A-Day recently so that our patients could take one pill a day to act as an insurance policy to make sure they're not nutritionally compromised. But even more importantly than the one-a-day probably is omega-3. We all need to be consuming omega-3 either from a good source of fish or actually from a good omega-3 supplement. You hear about omega-3 supplements everywhere. You hear about flaxseed oil, you hear about krill oil, squid oil, fish oil, and different species of fish. I like triglyceride form fish oil the best. It has been studied more than anything out there. Fish and fish oil has been studied more than any other types of omega-3, and folks, it does work. Uh, we see the typical American in our clinics very low in their omega percent and their omega index. We put them on a good a Super Omega, like the Fortify Super Omega that I actually created. Uh, Fortify Super Omega in our studies now have shown two a day can bring your omega index over 8%. Folks, that can help decrease the chance of you dropping dead from a fatal heart attack by 90%. 
But this helps with dry eyes. Remember, helping to skew the omega-6 that is in our diet toward the omega-3. So consume more omega-3. Go purchase a triglyceride form omega-3 over the counter from your doctor. Ask your eye doctor about Fortify Super Omega. Start taking two a day or even up to four a day depending on what your doctor has to say. It will help. Not only dry eyes, it'll help your heart, your cognitive ability, decrease the chance of you having a stroke and a heart attack, skin, nails, joints, hair, whole host of things omega-3 is good for. Recently it's been shown to slow down chromosomal aging. It can also help decrease the chances of certain types of cancers. But let's add something else to the omega-3 if we really want to help with dry eyes. Astaxanthin. Astaxanthin is what gives wild Alaskan salmon its orange or reddish color. Astaxanthin we get uh, from hematococcus. This is organically grown, something called hematococcus and algae, in biodomes in Sweden and in Hawaii. And astaxanthin has some anti-inflammatory properties. You add it to fish oil, it makes it work much better together. That's why wild Alaskan salmon is so important. High in omega-3, high in astaxanthin. Well, we created a product also called Fortify Focus. So you get the benefits of astaxanthin and six milligrams of astaxanthin. We've studied that when we combine Fortify Focus with Fortify Super Omega, you get even more anti-inflammatory properties. Remember, astaxanthin also has a lot of other nutritional benefits. It helps minimize fine lines and wrinkles in the face, helps with muscle recovery, muscle endurance, helps lower your cholesterol, potent anti-inflammatory, potent antioxidant. The two of those work very well together. There's a synergy there that can benefit you. If your eyes are still dry, then you may want to add one other nutrient called gamma linoleic acid. GLA comes from black currant seed oil, evening primrose oil, uh, borage oil, even spirulina or blue-green blue algae. You want to do about a 10 to 1 ratio. So if you're taking 1,000 milligrams of fish oil, you want 100 milligrams of GLA from one of those sources. GLA can also uh, make the inflammation in your body and in your eyes start to resolve even that much faster. It acts on something called Series 1 prostaglandins. We're not going to get into that right now, uh, but Series 1 prostaglandins uh, actually lowers inflammation and can help stimulate a healthier tear film. So that's the triple whammy, I call it. Good omega-3 triglyceride form fish oil, astaxanthin, and gamma linoleic acid. Look for a new product that I'm developing called Gamma Xanthin and Fortify Dry Eye Extreme to be coming out down the pipe. But in the meantime, just fuse all three of those, buy them at the health food store, go to your local eye doctor, ask about the Fortify products, or go to fortify.com, that's F-O-R-T-I-F-E-Y-E.com. Uh, and also, don't forget to hydrate. Most of us are dehydrated. Drink more water that's filtered or bottled, but be careful with plastic bottles. Remember, they leach bisphenols into your system. Those are endocrine disruptors. That may actually aggravate your dry eyes. So drink it out of the faucet with a good filter, a good reverse osmosis system. Drink it out of glass bottles, and you'll be safe. Drink to your health. Anyway, hope this has helped you with your dry eyes. I'm out of here. Have a great day.